since we're doing some crash safety stuff if you're on the road and there's cement trucks and he suddenly decides to hit his brakes and stops and you smash in the back how will your car fare that's what we're going to be looking at today so we're going to start with the blue car since the blue car usually likes to go first just because he's the first one in my lineup here blue car is all ready to go and we're going to give her full acceleration to the back of the cement mixer we will see how this goes going 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 Ooh. That is quite horrible. Now, it still runs and drives, so that's a good thing. So, front end, of course, smashed in. We're missing driver and passenger side window, and the roof is caved in a bit. So, remember that, but we're going to reset him to get him out of the way. And here we are at the yellow car, and full acceleration. I have to take the parking brake off. Into the back of the cement mixer, and we will see how he fares. Any better than... I think he did better than the blue car. So, a lot of the energy was put into the lower part of the frame there. Uh, not as much of the hood was smashed in or up, and the windows actually stayed in. So right now the yellow car is one above the blue car, that is for sure. And we actually, he wasn't even stuck in the back of the cement truck, he is still drivable, which is absolutely amazing. So you know, yep, you might as well just run him into a tree, finish him off, good. Our latest, greatest, and last test subject, the all-wheel drive green car. Here we go, and hopefully he is a little bit safer than the other cars, and we'll see how he fares when he smashes into the back of a truck. Ooh, I think he's done the worst. Now, it looks like, uh, okay, still drivable out, but that engine bay is gone, and it looks like we actually went in far enough that the little downspout thingy actually went into the top of the roof. So, green car is going to be the last place here at three... Uh, yellow car as second and blue car. Oh, no, 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 sorry. Green car's last. Yellow car is actually first. And blue car is second. That's what we are looking at. Don't worry about the cement mixer sitting over there. He's not part of the test. He just happened to come over here to watch. We are going to be doing top speed testing. Basically, how fast can we go before we hit the wall on the other side of the map? It's going to be flat out from this wall without actually crashing into it. So let's reset. Guess it doesn't matter if the bomb's broken. Ah, we got a foot or two, whatever. It doesn't really matter. So, we're going to do a uh, four, three, two, one, and go! We're going to see how fast we can get this car to go. Definitely, hopefully, very fast. So, this thing is rocketing. Now, we are going to hit a wall up here eventually, so we're going to see how fast we can get a clock before we slam into the wall. There we go. That's 185K, 190, 195, 190, 200, 210. Okay, I seen a 214 was the highest speed we got up to. Um, I think you'd you'd probably be dead, but your back passengers would probably live if they didn't have a heart attack and shat themselves. So time for the blue car to go, and we'll see how fast he can get up to. I know he is actually quite a fast car, but you know we'll see if he's as fast as the all-wheel drive green rally car. So far, it actually feels a hell of a lot slower. We are definitely not going to be raking the 200 mark with this thing. Barely going to be raking 150 here. Okay, there's 150, 155, 160, 65, 172 kilometers an hour. He definitely fared a little bit better for the crash test other than standing right up, which is actually really impressive and I like it. Props on you. I'd give you extra points if I could, but I'm not going to, although I even could, but it would be unfair just because you did something cool. So here we go, a little yellow car, and he's probably going to be the slowest out of them all, since that's so far what he's been doing when we've been racing and everything else. But you never know, he might kick it in high gear and actually get his shit together and crash into the wall at a high enough speed and beat everyone else. If he beats 170, whatever I just said, then he will definitely win. Okay, 165, 66, 167. So, that is obvious. We have a green car with a win, a blue car in a second, and a yellow car in the last. I think that is going to be everything for the supercar. No, not supercar. Sedan car shootout. So, this has been it for the sedan car shootout. We've had a lot of good times, done a lot of good testing. They've all been very good contenders. They've all taken a hell of a beating. And they've all had a lot of fun here. Good time. Really like the way they crash and they all drive. They all have their perks and their cons. We're going to be doing a final total here to see what they get up. 
basically what we're going to do is the highest score loses. It's kind of like golf. Since we rated them with 1 through 3, 3 was the worst, 1 is the best. And then we also, yep. We had one timed event, which then we decided to win her from. So that's going to be a 1, 2, 3 as well. So let me just add up the scores here, and we will see what we get. Okay, so we have our total scores here. And the yellow car came in last place at 26 points. It was mostly twos and threes. He never got a one. So, although a very good contender, didn't do so well. Next one up we have here is the green car. Nope. Let's do this differently. So, in third place, we have here the yellow car. He got mostly twos and threes throughout the whole challenge, coming in with a total of 26 points. Remember, higher is worse. So, 26 points. He fared fairly well, but he was mostly in the medium to low category. I think most of it came down to crash issues and, obviously, performance, just because it is a smaller front-wheel drive car. So, here is your third place winner. We're all going to consider them winners since they all completed all the challenges. Then, in second place, we have the Blue Sedan. He got a lot of ones to start at the beginning there, then into the two and three category and kind of went downhill from there. He got a total of 21 points. Very, very well. Uh, I thought he was going to be a winner just by looking at the start, and then as we went along, he definitely lost quite a bit. A lot of it came down to crash safety and all those kind of elements to it. Very good performance until we actually needed to take some corners. And then our first place winner is the green all-wheel drive car. Started off a little rough with a bunch of threes and then just cleaned her up and cleaned it out with a bunch of ones at the end there. And then at three to end it all. Turns out he only got 19 points in total. Absolutely amazing. Sweet contender. I think that all-wheel drive definitely helped. Uh, the ground clearance was the only issue we had and that was a little bit at the beginning. But other than that, this car was fantastic. The amount of power and speed and handling that it had with the all-wheel drive system was absolutely fantastic. Thank you for watching the sedan shootout. And we'll have more content coming out soon exactly like this. <laughs>